hard fought game for us. I thought that uh, Central Florida was extremely well prepared. I think the difference in the game is that we both got in foul trouble, and I think we were able to sustain uh, a, a little bit more continuity uh, than they than they were, and I thought that really made a big difference. We both were in foul trouble. We both had challenges trying to figure out how we're going to adjust to the new rules that are being enforced. And I thought I did think that the officials were fairly consistent. It's just that we all are kind of uh, adjusting here, and I thought that the quality having Ian and Aaron and Ojo. Our guys coming off the bench, I thought, really gave us a big lift that probably made the biggest difference in the game. Uh, we were very concerned about how we were going to contain uh, their dribble drive. They, they shot, what, 200, almost 30 more free throws than the opponents last year. And, and as often as, as we put them on the line, I, I guess now I understand exactly why I thought they are very good at, at attacking off the dribble. As far as our team is concerned, I think we're still trying to find ourselves, uh, trying to get the right rotation. I, I, I wasn't very pleased with the fact we didn't get the ball inside very much off the pass, but I thought we did a good job attacking uh, off the dribble, which I think is everybody's going to have to uh, maybe improve their skills on with the way uh, the officials are, are calling the game these days. But this is a big win for us uh, because uh, road victories mean an awful lot to you as you move through the rest of the season. And uh, I guarantee you Central Florida is going uh, to have a good season this year. I think we just was a little bit better than they were tonight. Questions? Coach, you see, I've had 20 turnovers today. I know that you've, uh, you've had some issues at point guard trying to find the right answer. There. Was that something you felt you could take advantage of pressing those guards? Well, we had 18. So, I mean, both of us, was, we were both were defending each other fairly well. Um, uh, obviously, they had a period there where they did turn the ball over a couple of times, but it wasn't the point guard issue. Was, I think we both had some ill advised decisions that we made that caused the, uh, us to turn the ball over. And I think it's early in the season. For both teams, and it's not unusual to have uh, these types of turnovers early in the year. But I think both teams will settle down and hopefully cut those turnovers down. I, I don't see that as as something that I would be overly concerned about if I'm such a Florida. You know, I I, I think we are uh, we've improved our ball down in the past, and we uh, we did we did make some poor decisions. Uh, but I, I thought the night that we just the, in the first half they had eight points off of offensive rebound. They kind of pushed us around a little bit. In, in the first half, I thought we were able to come back and, and get a little even on the board, and I thought that made a big difference. I think we had two points on the, on two two second chance points in the first half. Second half, I think we had twelve. Uh, another thing I thought that, that really concerned me more than anything else is we've normally have been a real good free throw shooting team, and seeing them down the stretch, uh, we just couldn't find the, the, the basket. And I think we're improving those areas, but you know when you playing a game for teams fighting as hard to come back as as they were. It's important that you hit our free throws now. And, uh, hopefully, we will be much improved on that uh, as we move through it. We did not shoot the ball very well, as well as they did from the three. Uh, we normally have been a pretty good shooting team, but we were able to make up for it by, you know, attacking the basket. Coach, you said you're still trying to find yourselves attacking the basket. You were able to do that in spurts tonight. Is that something you are discovering, or something you knew these guys could do? Well, I think both teams attacked the basket pretty good. I mean, we gave them as many opportunities as they gave us. I think the way the rules are in there is very hard to contain dribbles now, you know, with with the way the game's being officiated. And it's very difficult for the post guys to rotate over um, and, and clog the middle of like we have in the past because a guy has to be set before the player even goes into his upward motion, which makes it very difficult. There's a lot of space that, that, uh, that – uh, that, that, that exists between the, the guy who's shooting and the guy who's trying to take the charge. And so it's making it very difficult uh, for guys to, to kind of keep you from getting to the basket. Uh, I think we're going to have to all have to adjust to that. And uh, I thought both teams kind of struggled with that tonight. Coach, this was one of the bigger crowds UCF has seen here for basketball. Where, where do you rank these guys, the, the crowd you saw here with uh, the Dukes and then North Carolina's usually? Well, to, be, to be honest with you, uh, I thought it was a tremendous atmosphere. Uh, but <laughs> You know, as a coach, once the game starts, you, you kind of tune a whole lot of stuff out. I did hear somebody made a couple cat calls at me complaining that I was standing on the on the court and they wanted to get my shoes off the court. So, but I think that's all in fun. I think you got to take your hat off to the staff. They've done a tremendous job assimilating a, a quality talent, quality kids. Uh, you got to take your hat off to the, the, the administration here for building a beautiful facility. 
There are a lot of basketball players in the, in the area. Unfortunately, this is the um, the dead period where they could they couldn't be invited on campus because this is the national level tent uh, period. But the student body there early in lined up, uh, getting involved. Uh, that just says that the, the program is growing. Uh, you got to give Donnie a lot of credit because he's really really got people excited about uh, uh, their basketball program. Moving to the other league obviously will be a tremendous boost there because you're going to have quality teams. Uh, coming in every night, and so I think the fans should, should be happy uh, that that they're going to have that type of quality teams coming game in and game out. I think uh, basketball is on the rise here in Central Florida. I'm just glad it wasn't too high tonight. <laughs> is this a, a game that you could benefit to down the road, keep playing this series, because it'll be a good RPI game with them now? And a well, last year I think they, their RPI was 83, and um, our biggest concern is that we – we lost some games to some people last year that had lower RPIs, and so this game was was important to us because we, we think they're going to be very good as they move through the remainder of the season, and uh, if they continue, I will be rooting for them, no doubt about that, <laughs> uh, so their RPI can go as high as possible, and, and hopefully we'll benefit from it toward the end of the season. This is a good basketball team that we played tonight. Uh, obviously, Sykes getting in foul trouble early, that was a tremendous blow to them. There was some sweet music to my ears, and I'm sure that he would love to have had him in, 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 on the floor in the first half. And I think that really allowed us to kind of be a little more comfortable uh, because he's that go-to guy and he's, all, he's a handful of trying to defend. Everybody else said? Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.